Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. So in this video, we will discuss about power distribution in house. Actually, how the power distribute in the house. Okay. So this is the basics of power distribution system in the house. Okay. Actually, how power flow from utility line to our lights and our home appliances. Okay. So this is the basics of power distribution in the home. So before I start the session, I would like to request you please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically how the power flow means how the power uh, distribute from our utility line to in our home. Okay. So first from where we will get the power from utility line. So this is the so this is the outside of the our home. Actually outside of the every houses have a utility line. So we'll tap from that utility line. Okay. So actually here we have available four wire system. So so three wire are phase and one is neutral. Okay. Like R Y b so these three are hotline okay phase line or live wire and one is neutral so here we have a 440 volt available but generally in terms of our house generally we take single phase because we have almost single phase loads that's why we only tap off single phase from this utility line here we have a two option overhead line system and underground system okay so first we have to take the line from utility so from utility line we'll take a single phase power supply and we'll give it to utility energy meter okay so this energy meter is belong to this utility line company so they will charge us according to our power consumption okay then further after utility energy meter will fed to this power to our main db distribution board actually in our house or home you can say okay so there is a main db so from utility energy meter we will feed the power to the distribution board now from distribution board we have a two circuits one is light circuit and another is power circuit so so we will differentiate the circuit for light purpose and power socket purpose that's why we have divided into two circuits one is for light circuit and another is for power circuit okay so from light circuit we'll give it to switchboard so from distribution board for light we'll feed the power to the switchboard okay and finally to the our lights okay lights and fan and for power circuit so distribution board will feed the power towards the power socket generally it is for home appliances use like a kitchen equipments like a rice cooker kettle oven so these are the or grinder we can say mixer grinder so these are the home appliances we can operate through this power socket so here we have a outlet so in this way actually power will distribute in our home or we can say in our house okay so from utility line to energy meter and from energy meter to our distribution board main distribution board and from distribution board to through the light circuit it will reach to the switch board and from switch board it will goes to the lights and fan because this light and fans are controlling through this switchboard switch okay that's why from distribution board to power is fed to this switchboard not directly to this lights because we are going to operate this light or fan through this switchboard switch okay and here we are directly feeding the power from the distribution board to power socket okay now let's come to physical view basically how this utility line look like and energy meter look like and db look and db look like so let's move on to that so here we have a utility lines poles okay distribution poles so this is the utility line pole okay so here as i have already told you so this is the overhead line system distribution system so here we have a three live wire and one neutral so the so this is the four wire system okay actually from the distribution sub station 11 kb is a step down to 440 volt okay which is 
थ्री फेज न्यूट्रल सिस्टम ओके थ्री फेज न्यूट्रल सिस्टम एक्चुअली दिस इज दिस वोल्टेज इज स्टेप डाउन विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफार्मर ओके देन फाइनली दिस लाइन फोर वायर सिस्टम विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टूवर्ड्स दी आवर कॉलोनी ओके सो हेयर वी हैव अ ओवरहेड लाइन सिस्टम एंड नाउ अ डेज वी हैव ऑल्सो अंडरग्राउंड सिस्टम सो अंडरग्राउंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो गोइंग ऑन एंड इन मेनी सिटी वी हैव ऑल्सो ऑप्शन सो फ्रॉम अंडरग्राउंड एक्चुअली वाट हैपन सो दिस पोल्स एंड ओवरहेड लाइन्स आर इलिमिनेटेड because cables are used so 4 core or 3.5 core generally we use 4 uh, core cable for our uh, home or house distribution system because here we have a not a uh, balancing system load balancing system that's why we use generally 4 core cable so here we have a 4 core cable which is laid through underground trains okay then we will move out and place the some smdb so some colony area so from this smdb will tap up the power and it will connect to our energy meter so in this way we can take the power from the utility line so this is the overhead line system okay now as i have told you so this is the ground underground system so here we have a smdb we can say sub main distribution board of the utility company so this belongs to utility company from here we can take the single phase power supply to our home to our energy meter okay similarly from here we can take a one a one phase wire and one neutral wire for single supply and it is connected to the energy meter okay so there are two option available if you have a overhead line system then we can tap up from this overhead line the wires if you have a underground system so there will have a some smdb type sub main distribution board so outdoor so from here you can uh, take the power single phase power as well as here also available three phase power so as per your requirements for general uh, generally for home we use single phase system okay so we can tap up from here and power will feed to the energy meter so this is the single phase energy meter okay so from here we can take a power and it will connect to here like a phase here and a neutral here and from the output of this will give to the finally our dv so from here now now from here now we can give the power to the this main dv okay of our house so from here we can give the power supply to main mcb so generally we use 32 ampere for main mcb and 6 ampere for light circuit and 16 ampere for power socket so general general terms but it depends upon our load calculation so we will select the mcb as per our load okay now from here here we have a two option one is light circuit and another is power circuit as i have already told you in the flow diagram so from here now we can give the power to switch board so this is the switch board okay so here we have a light circuit from here we can fade the power so generally uh, from the 6 ampere mcb we will use the light circuit and it will fit to the switch finally from the switch we will give to the our light load house light load okay so these are the light loads okay so these are the light loads and here we have a fan so we can now control the lights through the this switch individual switch okay in this way and as and directly neutral will be provide the directly suppose this is the neutral so directly will provide the neutral from here and loop it in this way it will reach to the our light loads and another circuit we have a power circuit so this circuit is used to fed the power to power outlets okay in our home so this is the power circuit generally generally we use 16 ampere or 13 ampere also for our home appliances okay so generally we use 
since 16 ampere mcb4 power socket so here we can use 16 ampere and it will fit to this power socket okay now from this power socket we can operate the our home appliances like a, a split ac unit so this is the split ac unit generally we use in our home and uh, led tv and uh, get also from this outlets from this power socket generally we can operate the our home appliances so in this way power will flow in our home okay so this is the basic concept of so actually how the power distribute in our home okay so hope you guys understand about the power distribution system in the home okay so thank you for watching this video so please like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming video so thank you very much see you again in next